Hey everybody, Nate Lee here, and I've got something for you I think you're really gonna like. This one is also for the advanced fiddlers. I've done a couple videos recently for the more advanced players. Don't worry, beginners out there. I will do some easier videos in the near future as well. So I've done a couple licks with different slidey things. Or those types of ideas, and I've gotten some requests for more slidey stuff. And I was thinking about the slidey stuff, what did I wanna do? Uh, just a moment ago before hitting record on this and this Scotty Stoneman idea popped into my head and if you don't know who Scotty Stoneman was uh, you should let's fix that right away look up some Scotty Stoneman on YouTube uh, Scotty's biggest claim to fame was playing with the Kentucky Colonels and Scotty was such a powerful fiddler and such an original fiddler played so much really cool stuff and was also very entertaining uh, so we're gonna use a lick that he would use uh, and it sounds like this. Uh, the basic one I'm going to show you sounds like this. And here it is sped up. Sometimes done with slurs. So here's how you do it. Uh, there's a formula for this, and that is whatever chord is happening in the song you're playing, you find a double stop that fits that chord. So here I'm in the key of D playing over a D chord. And so I need to find a double stop that fits that chord. So this one is F sharp. That's two on your D string. And then D. That's three on your D string. And that's going to be your double stop we're going to work with. So take a moment, find that, pause the video if you need to. While it's paused, if you're watching this on YouTube, it would mean a lot to me if you would click that like button and then subscribe to this channel. It'll help the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people that need to learn it. And if you are watching this on Facebook, if you would also hit that like button and consider sharing this video, uh, it'll have the same result. It'll help people who need to see this learn to do this lick. Uh, so uh, back to the formula, you find your lick, or find your double stop, I mean, and this is the formula. You start a half step too low. Start a half step below where you're going to end up using the same fingers that you're gonna use when you end up there. So we're playing this F sharp and D. You take those same two fingers and you just scoot it down a half step. So now you're playing a low two and a low three or a F and a D flat are the notes we're playing here. And you play them there. Now scoot them up back to their original position or the position we wanna end up in, F sharp and D, also known as two and three. And then you let go entirely and play both open strings, open D and open A. And that's the lick. Just like that. Now you can use slides if you want. And you just slide from there, sounds really great. And then the open strings get their own bow. A variation is you start on the double stop that is consonant with the chord, the F sharp and the D, and then you scoot down a half step, and then let go and play the open strings. So that's two and three, also known as F sharp and D. You scoot that down to a low two and a low three, so that's F and D flat and you let go, open A and open D. And it can be nice to use both of them. You can throw in some slurs. You can slur, slur whichever notes you want. Out of the three note pattern, you can slur the first two or you can slur the last two. And that works. So you can then do that with as many double stops over that chord as you want, or if it changes to a different chord, you can do that with double stops over the other chord. Your open strings do not have to match the chord. Uh, so I could come up here, still playing over a D chord, and I could play a D here, three on the A, and an F sharp on my E string, which is a one on the E. I can start a half step too low, so that's low three and low one, also known as D flat and F. Scoot back up. Now let go and play open E and open A. 
And even though that E chord or that E note is not in the key of, it's, well, it's in the key of D, but it's not in the chord D, it still looks fun. So then you can find that with all kinds of different double stops that fit D. They're all over the neck and you can use them in any order you want and you might come out with something that looks like this. Something like that. And it's super fun. Once you get it down, you won't be able to stop doing it. So try those licks. I know it's kind of complicated. If you're a beginner out there and you're feeling just completely baffled by this, don't worry. You're not supposed to understand it yet. But you will if you keep it up and work on your fundamentals. For advanced students out there, just take it slow. If you didn't get it right away, that's okay. Most people don't. And if you need some help with it, then you can join my Facebook group, Play Well, Play Nately, and I answer questions there. There's a weekly Technique Tuesdays thread where you can ask questions, or you can go to playnately.com and sign up for a lesson with me, and I'll be happy to help you that way too. I will be out of the office for uh, extra lessons until July. I'm going to teach some music camps, so uh, in July I should have some spots available then, and of course in August I should have some then too. All right, bye everybody.